Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Elysium Suicidal. We're doing short still. I realized that when we played... Stop blinking at me, store. I'm stretching. Pulling out some knots in my hair. Uh, when we played the first match... Oh man, this hair is really bad. I'm gonna have to fix it. Uh, when we played the first time on Elysium, we didn't get the same zones so I don't I don't think we have to worry about getting uh, longer matches or anything like that what I want to do is I want to get the lore master stuff or I want to get the tomes and pull that lever again because I still don't know what the consequences did it could be a different boss arena you know but since we were playing an endless we didn't actually get to go to the boss arena like if you play um, endless on Steam Fortress for example uh, the bosses just spawn in the world. They don't act. There isn't actually like a, you, you don't actually go to the the ship, right? Like you just they just spawn and then you fight them just kind of uh, in the fortress rather than in the rocket. Um, which is might might be kind of what's happening here. So if we pull that lever um, and then get to the boss wave, which isn't hard, uh, we may see. like something going on there possibly uh, I'm not really sure I kind of like this honestly because we do get it like we get more ammunition right like we can fill it all the way up you can't do that normally so hopefully we find the tomes or uh, the other one that I would like would be the pillars the big tall pillars would be nice as well this one I don't really care about this one doesn't have anything on it um, there's nothing important here, and this map kind of sucks, so. It's only round two, though, so we should be fine, but it does kind of stink. Literally and figuratively. I'm sure that this is not necessarily the most, uh, pleasant-smelling locale. If y'all are playing chess, um, Northern Lion and Gotham Chess, who is, like, uh, let's see, 2400, 2500 or something? Um, they had a like two hour sort of like uh, educational thing that they did so uh, Gotham Chess uh, gave Northern Lion some like reviews of his gameplay and some tips and pointers and stuff and uh, if you guys are into chess uh, Northern Lion has the bot up Gotham Chess also has um, the uh, an excerpt of it, but not the whole thing. Northern Line has the whole VOD up on his channel. Um, so, uh, if you guys are into chess it's, and you're not like... You know, if, I mean, if you're like 2000 plus, it's probably not going to be that useful to you, I, I'd imagine. But, um, still perhaps somewhat interesting anyway. Um, but if you're like sub 1000, especially, or, or, you know, maybe getting up into the mid thousands like 1500 ish 16 1700 um, I think I think that it's a a a very 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 informative video to, to watch it goes over a lot of theory and stuff and like Gotham chess levy the uh, international master he knows what he's talking about he understands the fundamentals and the, me the mechanics and he understands all that stuff uh, to a pretty good degree, you know, he's, he's an international master. Um, and Northern Lion's very good at kind of explaining things and dumbing them down. So you kind of get a combination of a lot of knowledge and then a lot of, uh, like, explaining, which is, is, is really, really nice. It was, it was, uh, it was, it was probably one of the better videos I've ever seen of, uh, of, of chess, especially. Um, but even, even just on Northern Lion's channel, it, it was it was probably one of the, my favorite videos. It was it was really 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 cool to see uh, them go over all of the uh, like tactics and thought processes and working through everything together. It was it was really really cool to see that. And uh, I don't think that it necessarily made me a better chess player. I'm uh, I'm sure it did. I'm like I'm actually getting better. I'm I'm up to like 550 ish now. I'm I'm probably. I'm, I'm, I, I'd, I'd imagine I'm about a 700. 
is 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 what I would guess. Uh, my rating on chess is five, like five thirty or something like that. Um, but I'm I'm winning more of my games than I'm losing. At least not when I, at least when I'm you know not tilted. Sometimes I get tilted and then I lose like my queen to knights a bunch of times like an idiot. Um, but uh, you know, outside of that, I, f I feel like I'm I'm fairly competent of a, of a chess player. I, I tend to win more than I lose, so I, I, th I think I'd, I'd probably be able to be about 700. Um, in the puzzles, I'm, I'm tending to get to about like 900 to 950-ish now. So, you know, steady improvement, steady improvement. Um, but but my rating is, is literally only like 530 or something on chess.com, so... I can't really say with, with too much confidence that I'm any higher than that, but... Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not a great chess player, so really any... Any advice or, or theoretical kind of stuff is uh, is probably definitely going to have market improvements to, to my overall skill, learning strategies and stuff. And it kind of weirdly enough, I was, I was talking about how I don't really care to watch like videos or tutorials or anything like that, and guides or not tutorials, but like um, lessons, I guess, uh, on chess. But this video has kind of changed my perspective on that because it was a lot of fun, kind of listening to them talk about the theory, and I, and I I'd, I'd enjoy seeing more of that, honestly. Um, so I'm I'm kind of honestly tempted to to start watching some, like learning some openings and actually going over some proper theory and learning about the traps and stuff that I fall into on occasion. I I think that I could pretty easily get up to, well, yeah, no, I think I could easily get up to maybe a thousand to twelve hundred ish. With uh, maybe maybe a month or two of, of, of work, I uh, I have a penchant. Is it is that the word for for knowledge and, and this kind of stuff? I have uh, I have I definitely have issues with putting it into practice, but with just learning like knowledge and, and knowing stuff, um, I'm 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 really really good at that. Like I'm I'm good at learning languages and and. Uh, like memorization, you know, like that's a strong suit of mine. And getting getting to like a thousand or so, I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure you could do that with with just memorizing a bunch of openings, a bunch of openings, a bunch of you know mates, uh, a little bit of mid game theory, and that's just probably good enough to get you to like a thousand, twelve hundred ish. To to go much past that, you, you probably have to start getting like proper practice and experience, and and kind of learn through through making a lot of mistakes to to really start to build it up from there but um I've, I've like gone over some like thousand uh, elo matches on chess.com and and it's definitely above what i'm doing right now but not by much you know it's just it's a little bit better in the opening and then uh it tends to be fairly similar throughout the mid game and uh, the end game tends to be a little bit better as well uh So it's um Yeah. I might I might end up watching some some theory and lessons and stuff and, and properly learning chess. I still have a lot of stuff to do. I have to work on the YouTube, I still have to work on Char's many faces, I have to work on a lot of stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of projects going right now. Uh, so learning chess is, is a big investment for sure. But uh, it's one that I, I think I wanna do. It's one that I think I wanna do. I'm probably gonna upload the first Minecraft episode. Uh, we'll just we'll just do this. This is okay. I'm probably gonna upload the first Minecraft episode today or tomorrow. I'm thinking. No promises. No promises. But I'm I'm thinking it's gonna be a Friday thing. Currently, that's that's the current working uh, idea. Is a, is a Friday release? Don't no no promises. It might be a Monday release. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent certain on it, but. I'm thinking Friday for the single player and Monday for the multiplayer. That's that's what I'm thinking for right now, okay? That's I'm not making promises, but that's that's my current working, you know, theory here, so. Um Yeah, that's that's going to be getting up and then I'm, that's going to kind of skyrocket the amount of responsibility that I have because at that point I have to start making more videos and record the Gunfire Reborn, which I kind of want to do anyway, but you know, it's just, it's just a lot of stuff that starts happening as soon as those videos go up. Um, so adding in 
learning chess as well, I'm like, woo, it's a, <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, but I don't know, maybe maybe a half an hour, hour a day, or, or every kind of few days or something like that, I think I could handle. The thing is, is if you, uh, you have to, when, when you're learning any kind of new skill, if you're learning a language, if you're learning um, chess, if you're learning like sport theory, if you're learning anything, you're learning how to be a doctor, you're learning how to anything, you're learning how to do anything at all. Um, some of that is going to end up in long-term memory, just kind of like immediately. You know, some of it's just going to click with you and it's just going to end up lasting and you're not going to have to worry about it. Most of it is not going to end up in long-term memory. The vast majority of it is going to end up in uh, in just short-term memory. You're going to have to constantly keep using it and learning and uh, continue to expand on that knowledge and, and use that knowledge and study that knowledge um, to get it into long-term memory. Or else if you end up taking too long of a break, you have to kind of like go back and refresh a lot of it. Um, to kind of like get back up to speed. So if, if you're if you're if you're learning chess, you can't do like an hour a month. You can't you can't really do that. Um, but you know, an hour every couple of days should be fine. I think. I don't know. I, I might. I'd li I'd like to learn some openings. I. Uh, I know a few openings, but what what what's important to know about an opening isn't just like okay, you go like you know, you open with uh, C4 into you know this into that because what what ends up happening is you open with C4, and then they're gonna push you know maybe E4, which is a stupid move, but um, you have to know that it's stupid and, and understand that because if you don't, then you're gonna not respond properly, right? You might not take, you might try and defend your piece. Um, but you don't want to do that uh, because you want to make sure that you are um, like taking that piece and opening up their uh, their queen file or whatever. Um, and you know if they do something else, you have to know what happens there. So it's it's not about just learning like with a Rubik's cube. I don't know Rubik's cube is kind of not a good example either. But, uh, with learning a boss fight in a game, okay, if, if you're playing Terraria and you're fighting, you know, the Empress of Light, you gotta learn that, um, you know, the first thing she does is, uh, fire the little bullet things, and then she dashes at you, um, and then she's gonna do, you know, the sunshine thing, then she's gonna dash again, then she's gonna make a flower, then she's gonna dash again, then you're gonna get more bullets, and then you're gonna get another dash. Um, and then you're gonna get the the weird like sword things that come at you. You know, you gotta you gotta learn that, right? And that's a that's it happens the same time every time. Every time you fight the Empress of Light, it's the same thing. Over and over and over again. Um But with chess back in the game. Right, you go you go C4, they might go E4, it's a stupid move, but they might, or E5 or whatever, it's, I don't know, like a ch chess notation is I'm still having trouble, they might go e e E5 or whatever, um, you know, you might, they might go D5, they might, um, you know, put knight to C6 or whatever, you know, like they, there's, there's a lot of options for them and you have to know like okay so in the opening I do this if they do this I do this if they do this it's a lot of stuff that kind of goes into it so it's not super super simple but I, th I feel like as soon as you get one good opening down you kind of understand the, the theory of it and uh, and what kind of defenses you have against it that's that's enough for some you know kind of beginner to intermediate level stuff to me once, once you kind of have a, a decent understanding of that, I, I feel like I feel like that's putting you to, you know, half decent. You're not you're not a 500 level player anymore at that point. I don't think. You know, you're you're 500 level player when you're me, and you know, okay, yeah, I I know how to you know start uh, the Scandinavian defense. I know how to do a, a Portuguese opening. I know how to do this. I don't know how to respond when they try to defend against it. 
so much, you know, I have to kind of like think on my feet and come up with ideas and I'm not necessarily going to come up with the best response to, to whatever they're doing. I might sometimes. You know, sometimes I do come up with the best response to, to their thing and I end up going with like a 99.1% accurate game or something, right? Like, sometimes it happens, but for the most part it's, uh, it's not, so... Um, anyway, the moral of the story here is that openings can be a little bit more complicated than just remembering, you know, what moves you take. It's, it's not always the same. You have to be able to respond to them doing things as well, and that's why the, the chess theory and uh, understanding kind of what you want to be focusing on and protecting and when is uh, a good time to sacrifice a piece and when isn't a good time to sacrifice a piece and what kinds of trades are good and, and when do you want to make these trades. And you know, Understanding that kind of basic level theory is... Uh, it's super important to, to being a better player. Um, get out of here, dude. I don't want you doing that. Anyway, I might, I might end up looking at some, some chess stuff. It's really the moral of the story. Because I want to I wanna learn chess notation. I'm trying to learn. Um, just kind of by like using it in my brain when I'm, when I'm playing stuff and whatnot. And following along as Northern Lion or Gotham or whoever are uh, are talking about stuff, I, I'm trying to kind of follow along and, and just kind of piece it together. It's not very complicated, right? Like it's it's really not complicated to you know understand it. Um, it's, you know, white side is the bottom, so to speak, and uh, you just you just kind of go A to F, and is it A? No, A, A to H. A to F. I'm thinking hexadecimal, dude. Uh, A to H and then one to eight. Um, you know, it's not it's not complicated. The the hard part is is just kind of internalizing the squares and what they all mean. Because what what often happens is is when I'm playing white, I can kind of get a good idea of what uh, of what the squares are. But once I'm on black, everything kind of gets flipped around. So I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to get better at that because that's definitely going to help a lot with um, following along with stuff. It does. It's not like understanding chess notation is going to make you a better chess player. There's absolutely no requirements to um, to know chess notation to be a good chess player. It's just that if you want to talk to good chess players, which is a good way to be a better chess player, uh, you're going to have to know chess notation to understand what they're saying. Um, so it is, it's it's kind of like a requirement in, in a sort of like not a requirement way, if that makes sense, you know? You'd have to, you'd have to, it would, it would just take you a lot longer to talk about stuff, you know? Like you, you can learn this the theory by being like, hey, this move to this square is good. Um, did I accidentally skip the wave or something? Oops. We should still be okay, but um, you know, you you can learn by just knowing. Oh God, we might not be okay. I thought I had a Glock. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh my. Oh dear, oh my. Um, you know, you you can learn chess theory by by just uh, Understanding that, you know, knight to this square is good. You don't have to know that it's called c6 or whatever, you know. You don't have to know that the king's pawn opening is d f or e4. You don't have to know that to know that it's a good move. Or that that's the move you want to do. You just have to know that that's what it's called if you want to read a book on it. And uh, learn about theory if you want to watch a video and understand what they're talking about. You know, it's kind of a requirement in, in a weird sort of way. We, we might still win. Um, I'd be surprised, honestly. We are out of bullets. There's an ammo crate over there. We'll go grab it. <laughs> We're going to be clinging on, on everything that we can get here, though, really. Um, so we'll grab this. Get out. It could happen, maybe. I tell you, I tell you what's going to end up happening, though. Is I think I think we could do this. Okay, to be clear, I'm 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 fairly confident in uh, in doing this. To be honest with you, like I, I actually have a 
a pretty decent level of confidence. It's a very open map. It's a very, you know, good map for, for doing this kind of stuff. Um, but the ammo crate doesn't respond that quickly. So what will end up happening is uh, we'll just end up spending a lot of time just kind of fishing for ammo crates. And I'll be honest with you. I'll be, on I'll be honest with you. That's not a lifestyle that I'm necessarily all that interested in, okay? So, instead of doing that, you know what? I'm not going to give I'm not I'm not giving you the satisfaction of killing me, okay? You don't you don't get to kill me. I kill me. I go out on my terms, not yours. Ho ho ho. I'll get my revenge next time, Krampus. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video. If you liked it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.